everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up an object, uh, object bound data source, which is one of the requirements for a three layer application. And what we're going to do is instead of binding uh, to the data set or setting up a data set data source as we've done in the past, we're going to um, have a, an object bound data source where, whereby we, we bind to one of our uh, classes in what we call our business layer. In this case, it's the student class. So basically, what I'm going to do is um, I have the data sources pane open. Now, don't let this mislead you. There is a data set already there, but I have put that there. It's an empty data set. And the reason I added the empty data set is I wanted that copy functionality where every time you com compile the program or build the program, the, the, um, the clean copy of the database is, is copied into the debug folder. So if you want that, go ahead and set up the data set the old-fashioned way, so to speak, the way we've done it for most of the semester, but choose the empty data set. But it, then you'll have that functionality when you're testing your, your programs. So basically, I'm going to add a new data source. So uh, I w here in Visual Studio 2012, there's this add new data source button. I'm not, I'm not quite sure about earlier versions, but it, you'll find a way to add a new data source, maybe in the, uh, the data menu, which you don't see the data tab in, in 2012. But basically, I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And, you know, again, here, we're in the, in the past, we've always added the, the database. But we're going to switch gears for our three-layer architecture and go with the object. Okay, so I'm going to click Object and, and Next. Okay, and then I'm going to drill down, and you'll get kind of a layout of your whole solution. And I'm going to just drill down into this one, the simple one, not the one with the properties, this one. And this is my business object, or my, my class in the business layer, the student in this case. And that is the one I'm going to check. That's the one I'm interested in, That's w w which I'm going to bind to. And um, here's the thing. I want to remind you, if you don't see your business object in here, first of all, ask yourself, have I written the class? That's always your first step, is to have your class in place. And the, the fields or the uh, private data members of the class are going to correspond to the actual fields in the table in your database. Okay, so write the class first and then you have to compile your class your your project b before the the class is going to show up so if you don't see this guy make sure he's written make sure he's written and also make sure that you have built the project first um, otherwise it's just not going to show up there so really that's it I'm going to do a finish here all right, so now we're pretty much home free. This looks a lot like we've seen in the past. You can do your data grid or your details. I'm going to go with details. And now I'm going to go ahead and add my bound control. So these controls are interesting because they're bound to that object, bound to my business layer, not an actual data set like we've done in the past. So that's how you're going to set it up. From there, you're going to come over here. You're going to get your... Um, data layer going right, by adding a new class. Okay, I'll add the student data layer. Okay, and from there you, you can start writing your code to write those data access methods. 